Oh, hello there. I'm Jason Matika, co-host of Scotty Gomez Learn to Be a Pro. And today we're gonna to learn about glissading. Scott Gomez has never been glissading before, and so he asked me to come out here and show him. While Scotty G was hoisting Stanley Cups, I was out here in the mountains learning how to get it done. So today we're gonna to show you years of uh, Alaskan experience and a little bit of glissading. You can see right here, we're at the bottom of Harp Mountain. We're reclimbing this ridge because it's nice and dry. Nice, that easy trail up to the top. And of course, the fastest way down is going straight down the snow field. Yeah. But it's gonna be a challenge, remember, the most important thing is safety. And that's why I do not listen to this man. Anything he says, you do the opposite. That's fine. We'll go from there. All right, let's go. So Scott, you see how this tundra is nice and soft? It's the best for hiking up. Sometimes the rocks and the gravel can really hurt your ankles. Whenever you gotta go up. What did you say? I said, sometimes this nice soft tundra it's very blessing on the old knees and ankles. Uh -huh. When you gotta hike up in rocks, just as Mr. Peaks is showing, sometimes when it's nice and soft, it's really gonna save your legs for the climb up. We're about a thousand feet up right now. We're here at the first saddle. How many saddles are there? One more. Most people for the first time would probably start here. But Scotty Gomez has learned to be a pro. He always likes to take it to the top. Well, you know, if you're surviving Alaska, you do have to have that eye of the tiger. If you don't have the eye of the tiger mentality, you got no hope, son. So we're at the top of Harp Mountain. Perfect time of day. It's nice to be up here at the Alpenglow. The light is nice and bright, yet not too hot. Got about an hour left of sunlight. I like to always judge the sunlight. You see the horizon if you got, each finger is about 15 minutes. Two, three, we got about 45 minutes till sunset. Should give us plenty of time to get down. That's just my daily uh, walk every morning. I get up and just like to come back to nature, come back to, I was actually born past that valley over there, on Michinac Peak, it's over there actually. But so every day I'd have to run this to go to school. And it's, uh, yeah, it just feels good to know that uh, I still got it in me. I still love to do this every morning. So we're up here at the top. The most important thing is uh, always safety. And we're gonna go ahead and take this rock path down, stay on the rocks in the steep sections, and then we're gonna get to the spot where we're gonna glissade. That was good. That was good, huh? Let's That's do good. it. Let's do it. You can see Scott's got good technique as he's going down this mountain. He's got one pole. Right there, sidestep, sidestep. It's good technique. Always traversing. It's always the most dangerous part when you're walking through the loose boulders. Scott's doing an excellent job keeping his hands down. Always having four points of contact, two legs and two arms. Great job, Scott. Way to show them how it's done. Just like Mr. Peaks, always four points of contact. Scott's showing you classic Alaskan technique here. Nice job, Scott. He's got four points of contact, making sure to step on the solid rocks. Scott, you want to talk about how your foot placement's going right now? Well, it looks like it's a, a gypsy wind coming from the east, 
so no, the light will be off for another good 20 minutes, but it is important to get out because you don't want to get caught here. This is when the bears and stuff, they can smell, they smell better during the dark, and this is when they find you. This is no joke. But like I said, we're good. In these snow fields, you're making sure nice, easy steps. You don't know what's below you. Scott's got good technique. He's got one pole, one hand free. In case he has to turn on his belly and stop, he's ready for it. So here's the top of the uh, shoot we're gonna the sand. You couldn't have better conditions. The snow is nice and soft, a little punchy, but uh, want you want that snow punchy. <laughs> you can see uh, the shoot we're gonna go sand down. If you want to go ahead and put the camera down there, we got perfect conditions. The light is nice for us. Uh, we got all the safety safety gear. Right, uh, our in reach. In case we don't have cell phones out here, if we have an accident, we just press the SOS to come rescue us. So, first thing we're gonna do, Scott, is assess the situation, and you have a whippet there. Yeah. Take the spot off the whippet. Oh. Oh. <laughs> you're sliding down like this. If you want to get speed, you lean back, legs straight, but your heels are always in. And if you want to stop, you're going too fast, you turn on your front, hand on top, hand on top of your, your uh, whip it there. Oh. Grabbing it like this right, on top and digging it in. Feet digging in, feet digging in, feet digging in. Right, head up, right, and then look. Get that butt up, get that butt up, Gomez. Up, there it is. Not you need near to full stop. Okay, got it. All right, all right, you feel good? Right. All right, let's get after it. All right, so we're here in the snow field. It's a little steep up here, we're checking the snow. Like I said, really punchy so you can dig into it. The goal is, we're gonna get out in the middle here. This is Pete showing how it's done. We're gonna start on our butts. Like I said, our heels are digging in. Heels are digging in. Heels are digging in. All right, I get going too fast. Stop. You want to go? You give it, you give it, you give it, you give it. Stop. All right. Easy, baby. Time has come now. I gotta get down before the sun comes out. There's a bear tracking me down up there. I can t I can sense it through the gypsy wind. It's time to get going. Jason Motika gave us all the instruction. Now it's time to execute. Most important thing: survive. Stay in Alaska. See you at the bottom, kids. Keep it going, we're making good time. All right. Nice work. So you can see we, uh, we descended about 2,000 feet in about two minutes. I don't care. Let a girl, Lulu Lemon. Coming in hot. All right. <laughs> and so we're gonna take this trail out. We got to the bottom of the ridge, nice and flat. High five, team. Oh, I'm pretty sure I have no skin on my ass. That was awesome. So as you can see, as you can see right here, the bear up there, me down here. That's the survival technique you need to learn out here. Living off the grid, right there. Slide knees up, right. Bear, no more problem. Let's go home. So at the bottom, Scott's showing perfect technique. It's too flat to, to ride, but the snow's nice and firm. 
it's not so punchy down here. So nice long strides, trying to get a glide out of every stroke, right? We're really making good time. Nice work, Scott. So kiddos, your Uncle Scott used to like to say, right before the hike, eye of the tiger, you gotta have it. You gotta have it for mountain climbs like this. A little different for you, this will probably take all day. This is like I said, about a 10 minute run up the mountain. So I like to warm up. But always, eye of the tiger is the most important thing. As long as you learn something today, that's all I that care. Ptarmigan. Fresh ptarmigan. Heads up. Give me dinner tonight. Let's go.